So today I thought I would give you a kind of a tour, a Christmas tour of the house. Uh, this is the front and we just have this banner up. We made this last year. It uh, says Christmas as you can see and we keep it very very simple up front. Uh, we have this uh, big wreath that we hang up. There aren't any, uh, there are lights in the wreath but we do not plug it in. We just haven't taken the lights out of the wreath. Um, and then we put this uh, garland over the door. Um, once again, very simple. It does not light up or anything like that. And then on each side in the windows, we have these um, um, pictures hanging. And that one is Santa Claus putting an ornament on the tree. And then this one is a countdown. Christmas comes but once a year. Merry Christmas. And it tells in this many days. And the days are not correct uh, because we haven't changed it. So now I'll take you inside. So I figured I'd start with the kitchen. I came through the back door, so I'll just show you this room. Really, there's nothing much going on in here. I have some Christmas placemats. Um, I have uh, the pillow that I bought from World Market, and I absolutely love that. And then over here in the corner, I have our uh, a cake plate, a cake stand, and on top of that, I put our gingerbread house which I really love, I'm pleased with it. Uh, but other than that, that is all the Christmas in this room. In the hall, we have our Christmas countdown, and I have not put uh, uh, the number two up here. It is, today is the 2nd of December. Um, you will not be seeing this until, I guess, Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, uh, but that is when I'm filming this, is the 2nd of December. I wanted to, um, I cleaned the house today. Um, I vacuumed the carpet, not that I'm focusing on the carpet, but it just made me feel better to film on a day after I'd cleaned. Um, none of the Christmas stuff was messy, of course, but um, okay, so there's the banister. I put a picture of this on Instagram. Uh, Kevin did all this, and then this is my... Um, banner in here my nutcracker banner which i just i just love it i really really do and then this little tree um it has all kinds of there's antique ornaments there's uh, newer ornaments but um there's they're small and i just decided that uh, i would fill in this uh this tree like this so i will show you how it looks with the lights out Okay, so this is how it looks with the lights out, of course, at night. It's much brighter, but uh, it really adds uh, something special to the uh, staircase, I think. So now I'll take you into the dining room, and uh, it honestly it looks the exact same way that it did at Thanksgiving. I have not moved one thing. Um, <laughs> I, um, I still have um, the uh, Santa Claus... Uh, castle over here in the corner with all the people. The people have moved, of course. And uh, there's Chapel trying to get up at the table. No, no, we're not going to do that. Um, and then this is the book. I showed this on Thanksgiving. It's just a book that um, folds out, and Gavin just loved playing with it. Um, but over here, um, the table, I just... Um, Years ago, my parents had given me these figures. My dad had picked out these figures uh, for me specifically. And um, I'll just take you around here so you can really see them. And so I decided to showcase them on the table. Uh, years ago, they had a Santa Claus collection and they would put their Santa Claus collection down the table. And I just think that's really pretty. So then over here, there's nothing much really. Um, Ashley made that years and years ago when she was in school, and Kevin made this card out of paper. He's told me I could throw it away, but it's one of the first things he made, so I think it's cool. And then, um, I just, there's just an assortment of things over here. A church and Christmas pageant tonight, uh, a little building. And then here, the only thing I did here was I added this wreath, uh, and they, their bells. And then I added, uh, the, um manger uh, scene up there. It's a modern manger scene. And then over here I have um, two nesting dolls. A snowman and Santa Claus. That's another little ornament that Kevin made out of paper. And we have one hanging up on our tree as an ornament. And then um, I've only received one Christmas card so far. That's from Jennifer and Nathan and Mike um, in England. And so I, I put it there. And then these plates, 
that uh, my mom had collected and uh, left for me. And then uh, I want to show you these bells. I, um, I actually bought these bells off of eBay and uh, they're actually vintage bells. And the reason why I like them so much is because if you ever see the movie Meet Me in St. Louis, there is one of these paper bells hanging in their living room and I just love it. Now we're in the den and I really did not do much in here at all. Um, I have these nesting dolls. I actually have them out because I just think they're cute. They're all different colors. They all look different. And uh, this is the mantle. And um, just uh, very simple, I think. And then this year, um, I've never used this red. Um, it's like a small table runner. I had never used it before because I didn't know where I wanted to put it. And um, I, I really like it here. I think it looks, I think it looks really good here. Um, but this is a um, this is a nativity scene. It's made out of wood, and that's the coolest thing ever. I think Andrew just loves them. Andrew, every time he sees them, he's like, "I want those." So. And lastly, we are in the living room, and I have my my sleigh here, and it has all my Christmas CDs in it, and my my um, stereo is right around the corner here in the hall. And so it's really convenient just to have them there. Um, honestly, we've been listening to a lot of Pandora, though, on our phones. I love Pandora, the Christmas uh, music. And then over here, I have gifts. These are gifts for um, my sister and my nieces that I don't want to put under the tree because they, they will get their gifts before Christmas, so I don't want to have to dig for them under the tree. And then Ashley gave me this... Um, this pillow last year and I love it. It's the first time I've been able to sit it out. I think she bought it at Target, I think is where she found it. And then I just, this is like one of my favorite finds ever from Tuesday morning. Um, it's this nativity scene and I, I just absolutely love it. Uh, favorite find ever from Tuesday morning. Um, and then I just have some old Christmas ornaments here. And then this is the tree. I'm sure this is what um, everyone likes to see is the Christmas tree and um, so uh, these are the gifts uh, we've we're about finished um, of course stocking stuffers aren't under here uh, but there there are a few things we need to get we we want to get uh, gift cards and things like that things that won't take up a lot of space anyway but um, I'll just get close up you, I know that, that you can't ever really appreciate uh, the beauty of someone's tree unless you're there. But, um, I mean, you know, the, the you can appreciate the beauty, but not the ornaments, each ornament. And for me, each ornament has, um, there's something about that ornament that I could tell you, I'm sure. Like Ashley brought this one back from England, and Christina has one on her tree. Um, I mean, and some of them are just things that I've picked up here and there, but some of them were really old. Like this one was my mom's, um, and it was probably her mom's, honestly. Um, this one, we had a neighbor years ago that went to Hawaii. She brought that to us. Um, anywhere we go, we like to pick up a Christmas ornament. This is from Buffalo Trace in Frankfort, Kentucky. We took a tour um, through there. I, I could just tell you something about all of them. It, it would take all day. Every, every year when I pull them out of the box, it's like, um, you know, that's really, you know, I love this ornament. Oh, I love this ornament. Um, and, you know, there's our one from Las Vegas. And it's just a plastic ornament, but those are good to bring home. If they're flat and they're plastic, you don't have to worry about them getting broken. This one Andrew made when he was little. He said it was supposed to be daddy. It has his beard. Um, so I, I have to really be careful when I put that up every year. But anyway, that's, that's the tree. And now I will show it to you with the lights off. And hopefully you'll be able to see it. Um, it is more, it's almost 1130 here, so... You probably won't be able to see it like you can at night. I will have to come back in here tonight and uh, I'll film it again for you at night and the dark. And if I remember, I'll get the staircase as well because it really is pretty at night. And then you get the full value of it.
Okay, I just wanted to show you how this looks at night. And as you can see, it, it really lights up the uh, stairway really well. I like it a lot. I wish it could stay like this year round, actually. Um, it's just really, really pretty. And um, show you from this angle. Yeah, I just really like it. And then in here is the Christmas tree at night. And uh, I love it how uh, it lights up that entire corner and then the lights kind of reflect off the presence and then bring that light um, upward. But it's very, very beautiful. I, I just absolutely love it. Every year I love our tree and and um, just very, very pleased with it. It takes a long time to do it, but it's worth it. So I hope you all enjoyed this holiday house tour 2015 and uh, thanks for watching.